Hello everyone, welcome to our your Pita education. My name is Manish Singh and today I am going to discuss with you one very uh, one previous year question from IPR exam. So let's see how to proceed this uh, question, correct? This is a theoretical question and you have to solve this question. I am going to tell you about and along with the uh, answer, I am going to tell you So then you can see here, here we have one question that is question number 2, is part A and uh, 6 marks of question. Hai. So now you can see in this, why is welding of aluminum difficult? Correct? So, the upcoming exam is mains. So, friends, the questions that are coming are practical questions. Correct? Straightforward, you can ask some derivation. Correct? Although, it's not that it will not be asked. It can be asked. It may be. But, most of the questions that are coming are practical exam questions. Practical questions. Why this? And why not this? Correct? So, there was one question that I thought was a good question. So, let's see how to write this answer, correct? So, is thread, generally, you have studied that we use stick welding process for uh, welding of aluminum alloy. Yes or no? Correct? Uh, then the reason behind this is, the aluminum alloy is a highly reflecting material and it also very prone to react with oxygen produces uh, oxide. Yes or no? So, the establishment of arc is very difficult. So, let's see how to write this answer. So, you can see here the first uh, uh, important point that is Okay, so the thermal conductivity, yes, aluminum is also having very good thermal conductivity and because of this uh, thermal conductivity, it can dissipate heat very quickly, correct? So, you can say aluminum has a much higher thermal conductivity compared to the other metals which means dissipate heat quickly. This is and this is you can see this is the major challenge. Correct? And as a result it requires more heat more heat inputs. So obviously, if if it dissipate heat very quickly, then obviously for melting of the material, you need to supply more heat. Is it clear? So this is one first challenge. Another one, oxidation. This is very very biggest challenge for welding of aluminum alloy because aluminum react with oxygen produces aluminum oxide layer. Let's say suppose suppose if you have this is a workpiece, correct? And in this workpiece, if we weld with the help of this arc welding process. Then obviously, if it is connected with some straight polarity, let's say this is arc welding and in which the electrode is connected with his, uh, negative terminal and workpiece is connected with positive terminal, then obviously this is called straight polarity. And now in straight polarity, electrons are moving from electrode to the workpiece, yes or no? So uh, as we know that heat at the workpiece is uh, uh, generated more, around two third, of, two third of total heat. Is it clear? And one third heat is here. Is it clear? So, because of very high heat, uh, an oxide layer may form at the surface of the workpiece. Is it clear? And uh, for breaking of that surface, oxide layer is very difficult for the electron. That is why the establishment of the arc is very difficult. So, this is one of the challenge. So, you can write like this. So, first you write a uh, major reason that is the high thermal conductivity and you can write uh, one or two line with respect to this ki kya hai? and simply you can write reasons as we know that aluminum is having very high thermal conductivity and therefore it uh, dissipate heat very quickly and because of this very high amount of heat is required to melt this heat, the metal correct another one oxidation is one of the major challenge as we know that Aluminum react with oxygen produces aluminum oxide at the layer and because of this the arc establishment is very difficult, correct? And another major challenge you can see here that is high reflectivity, high reflectivity is also a very uh, major challenge, correct? In the welding of aluminum alloy because this is a highly reflecting material. This is a very reflecting material hota hai. and suppose if you weld this material with the help of electron beam or laser beam then definitely it uh, reflect these beams yes or no. So again it is very difficult to weld it so, correct and next low melting point you can see here aluminum has relatively low melting point yes around 600-650 degree centigrade compared to the other metal which susceptible to wrap and distorted correct. 
इसकी वजह से जब हम ऑब्वियसली एज वी नो दैट इन द आर्क वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस द वेल्डिंग द हीट प्रोड्यूस इज वेरी हाई एंड वेन यू वेल्ड वेरी लो मेल्टिंग टेम्परेचर अलॉयस दैट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वेरी हाई हीट द वर्क पीस में रैप्ड और डिस्टॉर्टेड ये सो हीट की वजह से वो टेढ़ा मेढ़ा हो जाएगा डिस्टॉर्टेड हो जाएगा बिकॉज ऑफ रिस्यूटल स्ट्रेस इंड्यूस्ड इज इट क्लियर सो दिस इज द रीजन लो मेल्टिंग टेम्परेचर की वजह से भी इसको हम वेल्ट करना थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट होगा एंड नाउ एलोइंग एलिमेंट यू कैन सी अनदर वन यू कैन सी दैट इज एलोइंग एलिमेंट एल्यूमिनियम इज ऑफन अलॉट विद अदर एलोइंग एलिमेंट टू इम्प्रूव इट्स मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑब्वियसली वी नो दैट द एल्यूमिनियम इज हैविंग वेरी लो स्ट्रेंथ ये सार नो एंड फॉर मेकिंग स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड हार्डर वी नीड टू एड सेवरल एलोइंग एलिमेंट्स ये सार नो सो वेन यू एड दीज एलोइंग एलिमेंट्स दैन यू कैन सी दीज एलिमेंट्स Well, creates an obstacle in the welding. Is it clear? So, is it clear? So you can see here the how about these alloying elements can uh, change the material's welding characteristics and require specialized uh, specialized welding techniques and filler materials. Correct. And now sensitivity to impurities. Obviously, aluminium is also very sensitive to impurity. Yes or no? Aluminium is highly sensitive to contamination and oil greases and moistures. very quickly uh, affects the aluminum alloy is it clear so these are the major challenges which influence the welding of aluminum alloy yes or no to aap is tarike se iska answer kar sakte ho is it clear you just write the uh, important first you highlight important headings like this and you write around 1 to 2 lines for each uh, terms yes or no and most of the cases if i talk about welding process then for every metal these are the basic challenges is it clear and especially for non ferrous alloys okay so let's see isi question ka second part dekhte hain now you can see here second part again uh, it contains six marks then the question you can see here why is graphite the most preferable pre preferred electrode material in the electric discharge machining इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्चार्ज मशीनिंग में हम इलेक्ट्रोड को ग्रेफाइट का क्यू बनाते हैं एंड व्हाई वैक्यूम नीड्स इन इलेक्ट्रॉन बी मशीनिंग सो हियर वी हैव बेसिकली टू क्वेश्चंस दो क्वेश्चन है अब देखो इतना कुछ आंसर लिखोगे देन डेफिनेटली यू लूज योर टाइम करेक्ट और आपको ये क्वेश्चन कितने मार्क्स का ओनली सिक्स मार्क्स का इट मीन्स यू नीड टू राइट थ्री थ्री पॉइंट फोर एंड ऑब्वियसली वेन यू गिव द आंसर तो आपको कोशिश करना यू मस्ट गिव योर आंसर इन प्रिसाइज पॉइंट पॉइंट्स का आंसर देना ज्यादा बेटर होता है एंड ज्यादा इफेक्टिव होता है एज कम्पेयर टू कि कंप्लीट एक पैराग्राफ लिखा जाए इज इट क्लियर तो जब भी आप थेटिकल क्वेश्चन का आंसर लिखोगे तो मेक श्योर sure कि अगर आप किसी एक फिगर की हेल्प से या ब्लॉक डायग्राम की हेल्प से अगर उसको एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हो देन यू डेफिनेटली यूज दैट फिगर और ब्लॉक डायग्राम इज इट क्लियर अदरवाइज अगर नहीं है ब्लॉक डायग्राम फिगर नहीं है देन आपको आंसर करना है देन यू शुड गिव योर आंसर इन अ वेरी प्रिसाइज पॉइंट करेक्ट बहुत लेंदी पैराग्राफ लिखने की वजह अगर हम प्रिसाइज पॉइंट लिखते हैं एंड स्पेशली जो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अगर उनको हम हाईलाइट करते जाते हैं देन थेटिकल क्वेश्चन में मार्क्स ऑप्टेंट करना बहुत ईजी हो जाता है इज इट क्लियर and now you can see if i talk about the correct answer for this question then you can see here as we know that graphite is the most preferred element of the electric discharge material why the first one that is high thermal conductivity and since i as we know that as we know that the graphite is having very high thermal conductivity and because of this high thermal conductivity it can easily dissipate heat iske naam mein likha hai if thermal conductivity is more then obviously we know that it can easily dissipate the heat and agar heat dissipate kar dega resistance kam hoga to melting of melting ke chances kya ho jayenge very less yes or no that's why we prefer this and next low wear rate and obviously we know that graphite is also having very good lubrication property yes or no and because of this this very good lubrication property we can also say when you machine with the help of this tool then the wear and tear is also very less and chemically stable ye uh, graphite jo hai ye chemically stable hai it will not react with any other elements ये सर नो अगर सपोज आपको किसी सुपर एलॉयस को कट करना है एंड यू फ्यू कट दैट सुपर एलॉय विद हेल्प ऑफ मीडियम प्रोसेस एंड स्पेशली बाय यूजिंग अ ग्रेफाइट इलेक्ट्रोड देन डेफिनेटली ग्रेफाइट यू नो दैट ग्रेफाइट इलेक्ट्रोड इज केमिकल स्टेबल इट विल नॉट रिएक्ट विद द पेरेंट मेटल तो पेरेंट मेटल के करेक्टरिस्टिक्स यहाँ पे चेंज नहीं होने वाले सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट एडवांटेज 
because if you weld some other metals like if you use copper alloys then obviously we due to very high melting temperature some amount of copper get melted yes or no and if it if it get melted and by chance if it moves to the workpiece then obviously uh, it uh, uh, added into the material and produces some other compounds and some other characteristics is it clear which is, which is sometimes which is undesirable next you can see ease of machining obviously graphite is very soft material so you can easily machine it yes or no cost effectiveness yes graphite is very uh, very uh, having very less cost and uh, availability is ki availability bahut achhi hai so you can see here out of these many points are very common points yes or no to jab bhi question aaye to material ke bare mein agar kabhi bhi hame kuch likhne ko aata hai then you must remember कुछ मैकेनिकल कुछ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स होते हैं मटेरियल के उनके बेसिस पे हमें आंसर करना होता है इज इट क्लियर आपको इतना घबराना नहीं कि ऐसा क्वेश्चन आ गया मैंने तो कभी सुना नहीं एंड हाउ आई गिव द आंसर सो यू जस्ट फोकस ऑन द मटेरियल इफ अगर क्वेश्चन मटेरियल से बिलोंग कर रहा है देन डेफिनेटली यू नो सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द मटेरियल एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यू कैन गिव द आंसर इज इट क्लियर ओके सो दिस इज फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड लेट सी एन अदर पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन Yes, in electron beam welding, why vacuum is required? Is it clear? This is another part of this same question. And I, you can see here. Here I am showing you around five to six points in each section, but no need not to write all the points. Is is it clear? Because in this question we have two two sections, separate sections, and both are completely separable. Yes or no? So you just write three uh, three points for question one and three points for question two, or these sentences you you can also reduce the length of these sentences is it clear around 5 to 6 aapko answer kitne dena 3 marks question hai it means you need need to give the answer in 3 uh, to 4 lines yes or no and especially in 3 points minimum 3 points to hone hi chahiye and if you write more than 3 points 4 uh, or 5 points then it is preferable is it clear but the size of the line is very precise bahut zyada nahi hona chahiye correct because time kill karne wala hai jitna zyada likhoge utna time kill karega marks jiska jitna weightage hai utna hi milne wala hai usse zyada marks kabhi nahi milega so make sure ki jab bhi answer doge to aapko marks ke according answer karna hai na ki aapki bhavnaon ko express karna hai generally kya hota hai kai baar students question aapne dekha uska answer aapko aa raha hai aur aapne likhna start kiya aur uski duniya bhar ki kahani likh di but आप कितना भी लिखो अगर उसका मार्क्स का जो वेटेज है उतना ही मार्क्स मिलेगा इज इट क्लियर तो आपको भावनाओं को इतना ज्यादा एक्सप्रेस करने की जरूरत नहीं है बहुत प्रिसाइज आंसर देना है एक्यूरेट आंसर देना अगर आप एक्यूरेट आंसर जानते हो अदरवाइज जनरलाइज आंसर देना है इज इट क्लियर ओके सो लेट सी अनदर पार्ट दैट इज इन इलेक्ट्रॉन बी मेल्टिंग अ वैक्यूम एनवायरमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सेवरल रीजन यस वाई फर्स्ट वन यू कैन सी हियर दैट इज दिवेंट प्रिवेंटिंग ऑक्सीडेशन whenever you perform any welding process so prevention of material or weld pool from the oxides ox oxygen is very very major challenge so if you use a vacuum chamber in which you perform welding then definitely wahan pe oxidation ki problems nahi hogi and generally hum ise kahan use karte hain for welding of super alloys yes or no jahan pe oxide oxides banne ke chances zyada hote hain and if if it make oxides then uh, uske characteristics bhi change hone wale correct next reducing uh, contamination correct obviously when you perform welding in a, a vacuum space and which is completely separated from the surrounding then the chances of contamination chances of oxidation chances of defect is very less is it clear and next enhancement enhancing electron beam focus and one more thing electron beams are generally scattered if it gets some medium yes or no so to prevent that scattering effect you need to provide a vacuum chamber and even in the vacuum chamber inside layer is coated with some reflecting material so that all the reflected beams get uh, reverse back and concentrated on a particular location is it clear so enhancing of electron beam focus and next you can see here enhancing constituent heat transfer yes heat transfer ko bhi aap control kar sakte ho by using a vacuum chamber is it clear because in the vacuum chamber heat transfer takes place only by radiation is it clear next minimizing out out gassing correct so some materials may release some gases is it clear kai bar kai bar materials jo hote gas release karte hain and are volatile compounds so to you by using vacuum chamber obviously you prevent 
the mixing of those gases with the oxygen and you prevent the uh, fire hazard yes or no so these are the few reasons for which you select vacuum chamber for welding of ele uh, electron beam welding yes or no and at the end you also write some comment correct like overall the use of vacuum electron beam welding is a crucial for the achievement high quality precise and rel uh, reliable 3d printed metal parts yes or no electron beam is also used for uh, 3d printing yes or no so sometimes after writing uh, answer you just conclude at the end correct so agar aap conclude kar dete ho then definitely aapka answer wo jyada justify hota hai and you will get the maximum marks correct so like this uh, dear students with the like this you can follow the procedure for solving a theoretical question correct and uh, if you have any query and still if you have not joined your pd education because we uh, exclusively we uh, provide a सेशन करेक्ट एक स्पेशल मॉड्यूल है जो इस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम के लिए जिसमें मेंस एंड प्री प्री एंड मेंस दोनों को कवर कर रहे हैं करेक्ट एंड इवन डिस्क्रिप्टिव का जो डिस्क्रिप्टिव का जो सिलेबस है उसकी क्लासेस भी अभी से स्टार्ट हो गई है बिकॉज कि यहाँ पे इस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम में जो आपने टाइम फ्रेम देखा होगा वो वो फिक्स है करेक्ट और आपको एक पर्टिकुलर टाइम फ्रेम में सारी चीजें एग्जाम आपको अपियर होना है तो इन बिटवीन मेन्स एग्जाम एंड द रिजल्ट of a pre exam is very less time around 25 days ka time hai and it is impossible to practice uh, questions uh, descriptive question practice correct 25 din mein possible nahi ho sakta to better hai ki you start your preparation uh, from the early time abhi se start karo and abhi se start karoge to definitely uh, at the before the ya yeah, hum keh sakte hai at the end of pre exam around uh, you get uh, 30 to 35 40 classes 40 cl uh, 40 even more than 40 classes correct and if you conduct 40 classes more than 40 classes and if we pro provide 3 to 4 lectures in each day or each classes then definitely in that time you get a pool of 200 plus questions is it clear to around 200 questions and similarly in the uh, after the pre exam we obviously we provide around 4 to 5 hours classes and around 300 to 400 questions at that duration correct so around 5 to 600 questions ki jab aap practice kar loge to definitely aapke chances jo honge selection ke liye wo kafi bad jate hain to your pd education already ye sare particularly exam point of view ke hisab se aur especially designed modules launch kar chuke hain already batches chal rahe hain agar aapne abhi tak join nahi kiya you definitely join us जिससे आपका मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट हो सके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस सेशन